What do you want me to say? Oh my God, this is a moment of truth. A moment of truth. This is for you. Oh, what's that? Do I have to read that first? Oh. Hmm. Do you want me to introduce myself? I'm Phil Niblock, uh, for whatever that means. And uh, it's weird because I don't have many stories about uh, filming with sound, because for the most part, I spent most of my life filming without sound. All of the films. <clears throat> from the movement of people working and from the environment series, for instance, where I was shooting in 60 millimeter film, I didn't uh, take sound. So I've done an incredible amount of film work with no sound. Uh, and it's only when I'm working in video that the sound is more or less automatic. In fact, it's harder to get rid of the sound than it is to take the sound. Uh, and you don't have to attend to it, you can just let it go away somewhere. But there was one project uh, where I was doing a collaboration with uh, a musician composer named Arthur Russell. And um, he was performing and I was shooting video of him. And we recorded the video directly onto uh, three-quarter inch videotape onto a U-matic format. But we also recorded uh, a time code uh, recording of a PCM, a very early PCM, where the unit was uh, there and you recorded actually the sound onto beta tape or sometimes VHS, but mostly beta tape. And it was a Sony system. And a recording engineer that I worked with, uh, Steve Kellum, was recording the sound onto the PCM unit. And, and so I shot sync sound uh, with this thing. And uh, later we made a videotape, which is, is around and can be seen easily called Terrace of Unintelligibility. And it's, it's very different video than I normally shoot because I was constantly zooming and panning and tilting uh, the camera, which I normally never do, but very close up. So I was shooting just uh, maybe his mouth and then parts of the cello and I uh, came down the cello from the uh, fingers on the strings all the way down and, and finally you see the, the end of the cello, the bridge of the cello and the uh, uh, thing, that, the, the bow, there we go, the bow, <laughs> lost the bow. Uh, which he was sort of banging the strings with as he was singing at the same time. And then it goes back up the cello, all very close up. Uh, so there's an 11 minute shot, which is one constant uh, panning and tilting and refocusing the camera. And, but instead of looking through the viewfinder of the camera, I was looking at a a 25 inch uh, video monitor off to the side. So I was not facing him, I was facing over there looking at, the, at this big screen. And so all the work was being done by my hands, but without me looking through the lens at all. Which is also, was quite strange. Anyway, it's a very beautiful video. 